To make this beautiful shawl, we're going to make these scalloped motifs first, and then we're going to knit into the edges of them to make this beautiful striped, easy lace stitch pattern to make this shawl. We're going to be using one of the motifs from my book, Knitting Outside the Swatch, and we're also going to be using three different colors of my Be So Fine yarn. You could do this in one color and use only one hank of yarn, or if you order the tidbits, then you can get three miniature hanks of yarn to do this in three colors. We're going to be using a size five or 3.75 set of knitting needles for the motifs, and then to do the lace shawl, we're going to be using a US seven or four and a half millimeter set of knitting needles. You wanna download the pattern at my website, and now let's get started and I'll show you how to make the first motif. We're gonna start by casting on seven stitches. So we're gonna start with a slip knot for our first stitch, and slide that up onto the needle. Start with a slip knot for our first stitch, and slide that up onto the needle. And then holding our tail yarn in front and our working yarn in back, we're going to do a long tail cast on to add six more stitches to our needle. Okay, you want to turn your work and making sure that you're using your working yarn and not your tail yarn. You want to knit into the front and back of each stitch. So we're going to start with knitting into the front of the stitch. My tail got tangled, hold on a second. Okay, so we're going to start by knitting into the front of the stitch and pulling that stitch up onto the right hand needle. But before we pull the old stitch off the left hand needle, we're going to work into the back of it as well. So now we've made two stitches from one and now we'll slide that left hand stitch off the needle. Okay, now with our right hand needle again, we're gonna work into the front and back of the next stitch. So you're gonna knit into the front and before you drop that left hand stitch, you wanna knit into the back as well. So you're turning one stitch into two stitches. We're decreasing in each stitch across. Okay, so now we had seven stitches and now we should have 14 stitches. Okay, and on this next, you turn your work and then on the very next row, we're going to do the exact same thing. We're gonna work into the front and back of each stitch across. So we'll knit into the front and back of each stitch so that we then have a total of 28 stitches. Okay, row two is now complete and we should have 28 stitches on our needles. Okay, now the next few rows are super simple. We're just going to knit across every, <clears throat> every stitch. So we're gonna start with row three and just knit across every stitch. This is a great time to count your stitches to make sure you have 28. And if you don't have 28 because you dropped one, added one too many, it's perfectly fine to adjust in this row. So if you have 29 stitches, you just want to knit two together somewhere across the row. And if you have only 27 stitches, then go ahead and add one more knit into the front and back of a stitch so that you can increase by one. It's not super critical at this point in the motif, but it will be important to have the right number of stitches when we do our Pico bind off.
Okay, row three is complete now, and you want to repeat row three until you've completed 12 rows. So you just want to repeat to knit across every row until you have 12 rows total. Okay, we've got all 12 rows done of our motif. <clears throat> And now we're going to bind off as follows. A pico bind off includes adding on some stitches before binding off. And I'm going to be using the knit cast on technique. You could also use a cable cast on technique. Knit cast on is to knit into the front loop of the stitch and cable cast on would be to knit into the space between the stitches. So we're going to insert our needle into the front of the stitch like we're going to knit this stitch, but instead of pulling this loop through and dropping that loop off from the left hand needle, we're just going to add it on to the left hand needle. So we're adding one more stitch and we'll do that for a total of three times. Okay, so we knit cast on three and now we're gonna bind off six. So you knit two to cast to bind off your first stitch. Then we'll bind off two, three, four, five, and six. So now we'll move that stitch back over to our left hand needle and we're going to knit cast on three more stitches. Okay, now we're going to bind off six stitches. You knit two to bind off the first one. This is strictly decoration on the edge of the motif. So if your stitch count ends up being off by one stitch or so at the end, it won't be the biggest deal in the world. You can definitely uh, modify this if you need to, but it, the stitch pattern is going to be to knit cast on three to bind off six for the rest of the row. So now we'll knit, we just finished binding off six, so we're gonna knit cast on three more. And then we'll bind off six. Knitting two to bind off the first one. Whoops. Okay, we've made it all the way across, uh, repeating our knit cast on three, bind off six, and we're down to our last stitch now on our needle. And what I want you to do is do one more set of knit cast on three so that we can put a pico at the very edge of the motif. So we're gonna just bind off all the stitches now that we cast on the extra three. And then one last thing I like to do is just to really cinch this piece into the edge so that the pico is on the edge and not just floating out there. As I knit into the next row on the edge of the motif and then bind off one more time. And now we're just going to cut the yarn and fasten off. Okay, you wanna make as many of these as the pattern calls for. If you're doing the one color version, you'll need 15 of these in one color. If you're doing any other combination of colors, please pay attention to how many colors, how many of these you need for each color. In the next video, I'm going to show you how we block these so we can prepare them for knitting into them for the shawl. Don't forget to order your Be So Fine yarn and download the free pattern at kristinomdahl.com.